Welcome to this installment of Cengage Learning's Digital Course Support Self-Training Video Series for Instructors. You will access Grademark within the Assignment Inbox. To access the Inbox, click on the View link next to the assignment. Within the inbox, you will see information on all student submissions for that assignment, including paper title, originality report score, and submission date. You can see whether your student has reviewed his or her marked paper in the response column. You'll see a check mark in the column if the student has reviewed the paper, or a solid dot if the student has not yet reviewed. To launch Grademark for a paper, click on the Grademark pencil icon in the grade column. The Grademark page of the Document Viewer will launch. You can navigate to the Originality or Peermark report for the paper by clicking the appropriate tab in the top left corner of the page. In the top right corner of the page, you will see the Similarity Index score for the Originality report, and you may also set a grade for the paper by clicking into the grade box and entering the score. The text of the student's paper appears in the left window, and your Grademark tools appear in the right column of the page. You can access the various Grademark tools using the icons in the bottom right corner of the page. The QuickMark set is the default view. Your active QuickMark set will display, but you may switch sets by clicking on the list icon located to the left of the set title. Simply select your new set from the list. You can open the full QuickMark Manager by clicking on the wrench icon to the right of the set title. You may add comments to the paper either by using the commenting tool or by adding inline comments to the paper. To use the commenting tool, first click on the comment bubble icon. Then highlight the text of the paper to which your comment will refer. And then click on the comment icon. Type the text of your comment and then click Save. You can save this comment as a quick mark by clicking on the Save as New Quick Mark link, selecting the quick mark title, and then indicating the set to which you would like to add this quick mark. To add an inline comment to the paper, first click on the T icon. Click into the paper where you would like the comment to appear, and then type the text of your comment. You can strike through text on the paper by first selecting the comment bubble icon, highlighting the text that you would like to strike out, and then hitting your delete or backspace key on your keyboard. You can add quick marks to the paper by highlighting text and then clicking the appropriate mark or by selecting the mark and dragging it into the spot in the paper. You can view additional information on the quick mark by placing your cursor over top of the quick mark to reveal a description as well as links back to the ebook. Once you have added a quick mark to the paper, you can make a comment specific to that mark by clicking on the comment icon. You can use the search window within the quick mark set to search for specific quick marks. You can delete or edit any comments or quick marks that you've added to the paper by placing your cursor over top of the mark and clicking on the delete icon. If you have chosen to use the ETS e-rater, those marks are indicated in the paper in purple. You can place your cursor over top of the mark to either dismiss the mark or add an additional comment.
you can click on the ETS tab in the bottom right corner of the page to reveal an overview of all marks that were placed on the paper. You can click a checkbox next to the category name to dismiss all marks for that particular category. You can also restore any marks that you've previously dismissed. The comment bubble icon in the bottom right corner of the page reveals an area to make general comments on the paper. You have the option to record a voice comment to the student as well as add text comments. To add a voice comment, first click on the microphone icon. Your recording will begin. Record your comments to the student and when finished, click on the stop icon. You can review your recording by clicking on the play icon. If you're satisfied with your recording, click on the save recording icon. If you'd like to re-record, simply click on the trash can icon and then re-record. To add a text comment to the paper, click on the pencil icon and type the text of your comment. Be sure to click save. The comment list icon will show a running list of all comments that you've made on the paper by page. You can place your cursor over top of a mark to reveal the show on paper link. When you click on the link, that comment will be highlighted on the page. If using a rubric to evaluate this paper, click on the rubric scorecard icon. Click the icon to the left of the rubric title to reveal a full size rubric. You can then score the paper using the rubric. For more information on using rubrics, view the Creating and Attaching Rubrics self-training video. To access paper information including word count and submission information, click on the eye icon in the bottom left corner of the page. You can also download or print a copy of the Grademark report by clicking on the Download or Print icons in the bottom left corner of the page. You can navigate to the next or previous student paper without returning to the assignment inbox by using the arrow links at the top of the page. You can also select a specific student by using the drop down menu. Thanks for watching this self training video. Find more videos and other helpful product resources at the Digital Course Support site.